So what does the power law tell us, right? The power law tells us that statistically, um, we're right in the middle of the network, uh, middle of the, uh, the trend line at around 70,000, and that theoretically, by the end of this year, we should be closer to 100,000, um, maybe 90,000 in terms of the trend line. But we could go up two standard deviations above that. And that roughly could take us either to 200,000 or even exceptionally to 400,000, right? It just in, in, Even in this year, it's possible, right? Um, now, if you look at going out one more year, we could be at, let's say, 130,000, 100, sorry, 140,000 trend line, and 130, 140,000 trend line. And if we go one or two standard deviations above that, uh, we could get to something like 600,000. That would be on a blowout kind of move. Um, I think we are going to have a blowout move. Um, and I don't know if it's next year or uh, the year after, but I think that you know, I've sort of I've said that I think that we could really see a high in around 500 to 600,000 this cycle. Fred Kruger believes that if you just extrapolate out the Bitcoin power law model whilst also looking at the Bitcoin ETF flows, we could theoretically see Bitcoin hit $400,000 per coin by the end of the year. Then, if you go out one year to the end of 2025, we could be looking at Bitcoin reaching $600,000. However, keep in mind this would be a blowout move, a move that Fred does believe we will see happen. For those who don't know who Fred Kruger is, he's an extremely successful entrepreneur, investor, and mathematician who has a PhD from Stanford. After decades of experience on Wall Street, Fred has now gone all in on Bitcoin. Using his mathematics background, Fred Kruger has spotted that Bitcoin is following a power law, which statistically is extremely rare to observe. Kruger believed that it's this power law and the rate at which we're seeing money flow into the Bitcoin ETFs that could force a blow-off move in the Bitcoin price. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where Kruger breaks down the inflows into the Bitcoin ETF versus the gold ETF and why it shows that Bitcoin is about to rip higher. Before we jump into the video, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you enjoy finance content, consider subscribing and turning on post notifications. It's free and can always change your mind. But without further ado, let's jump in with Fred Kruger. If you want to debate whether you know, some version of the power law or some other uh, statistical modeling thing is accurate, I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm really only here because I want to make money. And so I think it's pretty unlikely that... Um, I think it's pretty unlikely that we go down much from here over the next two years. And I think it's pretty likely that we at least double over the next two years. And those are really great odds. Uh, so to me, I think this is basically that's pretty much all I, all I want to get out of the power law. And I'm not trying to win any mathematical, you know, contest here about, about this. Uh, I do love some of the work that Plan C has put out and Sins and, and, and others and Giovanni, you know. These are all very interesting to me, um, you know, intellectually. But at the end of the day, the real thing that interests me is just making money. So, um, and, you know, knowing that my big bet on Bitcoin is, is, is or giving me the confidence that my big bet on Bitcoin is accurate. So... That's kind of where I am. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little simple, more simple-minded than others, and uh, you know, I think in the end, it really is a question of going big on something you like. And it's kind of that I put that tweet out about a guy that I knew in New York, and uh, this guy actually he worked for Soros for a while. Um, you know, he was an analyst, and then he became, you know, he became a, a risk taker for Soros and another. I can't really tell you the other name of the firm, because that might give him away. But uh, very interesting guy, um, and you know, his entire he, he played around in all kinds of things, right? You know, he was an 
seed seed investor in Salesforce, for example, you know. But um, you know, really, all his money was made on Intel, and so I think that was a that really tells you something. And I think here again, this is going to be a big move. I think it's really going to be how not not just if you're right by Bitcoin, but uh, how big you are. You know, did you did you get in with uh, did you get in with uh, one Bitcoin, a uh, hundred Bitcoin, or a thousand Bitcoin? Right. So I think size really matters here, and um, yeah. And so I think this is. I, I really just want to get more confidence, uh, not more confidence, but I just want to continue to get my confidence up, and that's really what interests me. It's taken. Bitcoin exactly five months to reach $15 million in net, $15 billion in net inflows. Uh, and it took gold uh, almost five years to, to reach the same level. So I thought uh, we'd take a look at this and we'd sort of talk about the potential price impact. Okay, we had these $15 billion that came into the gold ETF starting in November, I think, of 20, 2004. And all the way up, if you look at the peak, which was, you know, back in, in November uh, 2011, that's the peak of the gold price. It, it basically, we basically went, did a 4X in terms of gold price, okay? And we did a 4X over a period of, you know, let's call it seven years. But, you know, it took five years to, to get to the inflows. And then we, the inflows were just treaded water and went down and went back up again. So we had basically, uh, a, a, we had a doubling of the price of gold initially in, on these inflows. And then we had a, a subsequent doubling on no inflows, right? Now, if we look at the price of Bitcoin versus gold, we've now had that exact doubling in price, but compressed in five months. Uh, and we've had the uh, flows compressed in in five months instead of five years, right? So should we expect something bigger? I think so, because at the time that we had these inflows in the gold market, the uh, market cap of gold was about 2.6 trillion. Uh, now it's about 15 trillion, but it went about 2.6 trillion and it quadrupled. So I think we should expect just from the flows we've already had, I think we should have expected something much bigger. Um, so I, I think you know we should be already at Bitcoin two hundred thousand just off of those flows. Uh, and uh, you know these this movement is not at all over. Unlike gold, this there's going to be a lot more flows into Bitcoin. Uh, and you know as the gold market set proved, you know once this thing really got going, it didn't even need to. The flows didn't even to keep up. The gold price kept on going. It just kind of overshot. So I think all of this really tells you that there's a lot of reason to believe that the next couple of years, the next two, three, four years are going to be extraordinarily good for Bitcoin. And, you know, it's not doing anything right now. But, you know, th this game is played over years, not months. So there's Fred Kruger on why Bitcoin could potentially reach $400,000 by the end of this year and potentially $600,000 by the end of 2025. It's all based on his applications of the Bitcoin Power Law model and the ETF inflows we have seen thus far. His insights drawn from a blend of mathematical expertise and extensive Wall Street experience provide a compelling case for Bitcoin's future. If you found Kruger's breakdown of Bitcoin ETF inflows versus the gold ETF inflows intriguing, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more in-depth financial content and analysis. Also, turn on post notifications so you will never miss an update. Have thoughts or questions about Fred Kruger's predictions? Leave them in the comments below, we'd love to hear your take. Now guys, if you're watching this video, you're clearly interested in crypto. If you want to stay up to date with the latest in the crypto and Bitcoin world, don't forget to subscribe to our daily 5-minute crypto newsletter. It covers expert predictions, breaking news, and top on-chain analysis all in a nutshell. Click the first link in the description to join over 60,000 others in becoming a better crypto investor right now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.